very proudly Quinn Esky. Uh, speaking of uh, DC villainesses, Harley Quinn, Fish Mooney, and now your character being involved in the DCU. Yeah. You know, is there added pressure for bringing in a new character into a world for something that's already been established the past 80 years? Or is it just a blank slate and it allows you to be as creative as possible? I think this show, Pennyworth, is very, very well written and it's character based um, and I feel almost like I have less pressure on me because she's a new character because I can almost own her. There's no preconceived ideas and for me coming as, from the perspective of being a female villain in 2019 I had my own agenda about how I wanted to portray a villain that's a female. Um, I have always had issues with the idea that often the most kind of, um, I think a lot of fear uh, for female villains in previous uh, history has been based on sexual power and I think that women have a lot more going for them than sexuality and um, I really wanted to explore the ideas of this character being complex and human and um, relatable as well because um, I think the first image we see is kind of funny almost like the first image of the whole series is Bet Sykes torturing a guy who's much bigger than her and he's terrified um, and I think that's almost a bit of, for me that's kind of an in joke like it's very shallow and as the series progresses you realize that actually no this woman's people are scared of her for a good reason she has a reputation she's very powerful she's very intelligent manipulative and also it's very difficult to differentiate in our show between who's a hero and who's a villain because everyone has a go at being both so there's moments when she's like your favourite and you think, oh, I love her. And then there's moments where you see Alfred Pennyworth and you think, you idiot. You know, like, so, and I think that's what makes it a great show. I think, you know, outside of the comic book universe, it deals with uh, sort of really important themes about being a human being and lots of sort of echoes of the current situation there's, uh, in politics in western world there's a lot of parallels there's kind of a the off sort of set of this world of London is, is a bit of an internal civil war going on between far right and far left and everyone believes their cause to be the just cause and they can't get find an agreement and I think we could all agree that that's what's happening in definitely I know in America and Britain at the moment the producers were talking about how they had this sort of model of an idea of like strong northern women. Mm. So I was curious if there was anything uniquely cultural about that aspect that you had in mind when developing how you portrayed the character. Well, my experience of the north was only, I lived there for three years, so I'm actually the only real cockney in the show, but I'm also the only one who's not playing a cockney. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm actually from East London, where the show's based, and of course I'm the one yeah. <laughs> who has to go and like learn a new accent. Um, so I did live in the North of England for three years, and I think, you know, this show's going to sh show American people a little bit about British culture, like ha how you, in the same way you have state by state differences, yeah. we have very sort of strong difference between north and south and um, I think that there's a much more community attitude in the north of England so the fact she's got a sister is really important because they have real sort of real in, ingrained ideas about family and about almost also community mucking in together and like helping things whereas in the south we're a bit more singular and like we don't talk to our neighbours and stuff like that. Um, I always say I'm an honorary northerner because I always talk to my neighbours. Thank you. Thank you.